we know we all love the pretty flowers in the flower bed, but there are the weeds to contend with because that can make those flowers not look quite so good. Huh? Absolutely. Well, this is Jacob Neptune, and Jacob is going to be talking to us about how to identify weeds and how to get rid of them. Mm -hmm. So give us some good advice because I know we all fight them. I know I do. Mm -hmm. Well, weeds can absolutely be a big problem in the flower bed. Uh, right down here, we just have some really common weeds. Stuff like this I'm sure you see all over the place. This is spurge, just common spotted spurge. More down here. And is that like what you call milkweed too? Milkweed, yeah. It's actually related to poinsettias. If you pick it, you'll notice that it kind of bleeds. This milky substance mm -hmm. can get kind of sticky. That is a reseeder. It's an annual reseeder. Every time it grows large in your flower bed, it's going to produce flowers. Those flowers will produce seeds and they'll drop everywhere and you'll have a bigger problem later. <laughs> An easy way to prevent stuff like this is to, of course, pull them when they're small. This is a larger one, so it's probably already produced lots of seeds. If you see right down here at the base, if I can pull it up nice and gently, I'll see a nice fibrous root system. Lots of different weeds have fibrous root systems. It makes them a little bit easier to pull up. Here's some more. It's always good to pull them after a rain, isn't it? Yeah, your soil's nice and moist. It's going to be a lot easier for them. You know what I just found right here? Some sweet alyssum that it's seeded, but I think we'll keep that. That might look pretty in the fall. Mm -hmm. uh, here's some more. Some other common weeds that we have in our flower beds, especially mm -hmm. here, is purslane. If you guys have ever heard of purslane, it's a very pretty annual, but there's a wild purslane that grows in Oklahoma, mm -hmm. and that one's a lot more evasive. It can seed thousands of seeds in one season. I particularly, at my house, have a big problem with it. Let's see if we can find some. Here we are. Now this, this variety looks pretty much exactly like the variety that we grow here. You see this one has a nice big tap root. Tap roots can be a little bit more difficult to handle because if you don't pull the entire tap root, you may get this coming up later. Here's some more right here. Smaller leaves, you can see. There's even a wild variety of portulaca that grows. <laughs> and like I said, they can just take over a flower bed. Well, it just does my heart good to know even you at TLC have these problems. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> right here I have some more examples of common weeds that we have. Here's this big spurge that was growing out in the nursery under one of our nice pretty trees. And here's a problem that you guys will be facing here in a little bit. This is a grass called Poana. Poana has these nice inflorescent seed heads and those will reseed throughout the season. And right now, even in the warm season, uh, it can be kind of existing in shadier areas. But they'll be germinating come the cooler season here in a few weeks. A good way to get rid of these weeds, because mulch can kind of be uh, not as effective, are, of course, chemicals. Uh, I'd say the most effective one that I use is what's called glyphosate, which is the active ingredient in Roundup. Roundup right here uses a percentage of 18% glyphosate, which is a really high concentration. Now, you mix that, how, how what kind of okay. percentage? Glyphosate, uh, probably about one teaspoon per gallon of water. Uh, I like to use these, which are actually a 0.5 liter, so it'll be less than that, less than a teaspoon. This is a really easy application. Uh, you, of course, you just put the active ingredient or the Roundup in here, mix with water. Um, it's a pump action. Now, of course, glyphosate will kill everything in your flower bed if you spray it on it. A good ways to target just some specific weeds is to use something like a tin can or the top of a bottle, a soda bottle, like a two liter. Just kind of cut it off, fix the end in here, and make sure that you just target the leaf when you spray. Other things good for poana, also other weedy grasses in your flower bed are gonna be grass be gone. Grass be gone's awesome, I love this stuff. I like it most because I have some really obnoxious roses that are very thorny and mm -hmm. I hate pulling the Bermuda that grows in them. Well, uh, grass be gone will definitely take care of that. And that you just spray as is? You yes, don't, yes, as this is okay. ready to spray. Okay. There is no concentrated version of grass be gone, but we do have Ornamec, which you guys uh, used to know as over the top, I believe. Mm -hmm. And we also have another one called Grass Killer which has a surfactant added in it. The surfactants just help stick to the weeds. Another uh, 
weed preventer, I should say, not a weed killer, would be a product called Preen. And you guys are probably really familiar with Preen. Some uh, more information on it is, it, again, it's just a weed preventer. It will allow weeds to germinate, but the weeds will not be able to live in those conditions, so they will die at a young stage before they can grow into maturity. And what time of year would you put the preen on? Preen is great to use uh, every three months, so you want to start, in, since you know it's starting to get a little cooler, we want to go ahead and lay it down for the cool season, so we can prevent stuff like poana, other cool weeds and seeds like uh, cool season weeds like henbit and chickweed. Those things are really heavy seeders as well. Again, three month coverage. Uh, it takes 30 days to activate. So if you lay it down right when it starts getting cooler, your seeds are already gonna germinate in those 30 days and you're gonna have a big problem on your hands. So you need to make sure you prepare and do it beforehand. And then finally, you've got the Preen Weed Preventer with, that's a fertilizer as well. Yes, it is. It's a great fertilizer. It has a 10, 17, 9. So you're gonna have nine, that last number, that's potassium, it's a great winterizer for your shrubs. It feeds up to three months, so it'll feed mm -hmm. into the cool season. Terrific, well Jacob, thank you so much for showing us how to get rid of those pesky weeds. No problem.